Guys, so for this video, I'll be showing my really small collection that I have for Sonamu, um, and I'll just discuss about um, them because I'm trying to just make a video for every group that I have at least some type of collection from, and and now it's Sonamu's turn, um, and I'll just be talking about why I don't collect them anymore, and the albums that I have. So the first thing that I have is their debut mini album, Deja Vu. Um, this is the special limited edition. I don't know if it's rare now, but yeah, but if you're wondering how big this is compared to a jewel case, this is how big it is. Um, but um, and then you get some extra goodies like you get like a member card and I think I got, yeah, I got my favorite member. I got Nahian. Um, and then you get like a photo book for that member. Oh wait, no, for all the girls. So the packaging was pretty nice for um, for this release. Mm. Yeah, here's the box. It comes with six tracks. I enjoyed this debut. I really liked it, but it's just a shame that uh, I don't know, I'll talk about after I show this. So then I have the, their second mini album, Cushion, the special limited edition as well. Um, this comes with six tracks as well. And um, you get a CD. Here's the well. Here's the CD, and then a postcard and photo cards as well. But okay, here's like my little small rant because basically this video is done. It's like not even gonna be that long because I didn't gonna. I didn't want to go through every single page for this. But if you want an unboxing, comment down below. But here's my issue with Sona Moo. I like the girls. I think they're all really talented. Um, BAP, BAP's company, TS Entertainment, does a really good job of producing albums and doing all of that. But I don't know. I think they definitely screwed Sona Moo over because I was really excited for their debut. Um, even their pre-debut because I saw pictures and they were teasing. And I think they just completely went to that generic sound. Um, that a lot of these rookie girl groups has have been doing for a while, and I I don't know I just really lost interest. Uh, maybe I just I'll try to listen to them to those albums once again, but I just completely lost interest because uh, TS they don't do anything to, for um, to them anymore. If they kept up with like what they started with, I think I would have been um, following them. Uh, uh, more and not have like completely <laughs> lost the uh, they just completely lost my attention because of how bad TS has been promoting them because I don't hate the girls because as you can see I bought their albums but I don't know I don't see myself buying anything from them anymore um, but I don't want to sell these albums because <laughs> I kind of feel bad if I do but um, yeah I hope that they've um, start promoting them a lot more because um they definitely deserve um, just better music, in my opinion, because these were decent efforts. But I, I really wanted them to continue um, having music uh, songs like Deja Vu and have that more of that uh, fears or uh, darker image. Um, and what they've been doing now is the complete opposite. So I wanted them to become like the female version of, of BAP, but it looks like that never happened. Or who knows? Never say never, but that's it for my stuff for uh, Sona Moo. If you're curious about any of the groups that I collect, I have uploaded uh, a bunch of um, videos, so I can browse my channel if you want to, because uh, even though I only have two albums from Sona Moo, I have bigger collections for other groups, but since I'm making a video for every group that I have a collection from, uh, obviously I had to make one for Sona Moo and kind of talk about them, because I never really talk about them at all. Um, I don't know if maybe Sonamu fans may disagree or maybe you agree as well. Um, but that's that's really it for <laughs> uh, Sonamu. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.